in today's video i'm going to organize jewelry your jewelry like this your necklace stuck in each other and some jewelry just stuck in a boxes and you don't know where is what so i have all type of jewelry in this video i'm going to share how to organize earring set necklaces bangles bracelets studs rings etc in a budget and if you like to see this video then without any further ado let's get into the video First, I'm going to show you how you can organize your earrings. It comes with a ticker. And if you have this type of jewelry, you can organize in this type of organizer. This is not a jewelry organizer and I found this in a Michael. So this is a photo case. You can get this photo case only $24.99. It comes in a color and clear. I love to go with the clear because in a clear box, you can see each and everything. This box comes in a 16 clear cases. Now I'm going to organize each and everything and I'm going to share with you how you can do that. And this is the first case and this is a clear case. And in this case, I'm going to use a tissue paper or you can use a wrapping paper, cotton pad, whatever you have, you can use underneath. I just use a tissue paper and now I'm going to organize my earrings. And these earrings comes with a ticker. I organized all my earrings set and now I'm going to put this straight in a box like this. You can keep all the cases straight like this. And now I organize all the cases with my earrings and now you can close this case and lock on a top and it comes with a handle. Now you can display this organizer on your shelf. Next I have clear cases I got from dollar store and in these type of cases I'm going to keep my necklace. And another option to organize your full necklace set, you can get this type of organizer and you can get these from Amazon or you can get this type of cardboard boxes from dollar store. You can get in any sizes. In this type of cardboard boxes, you can keep your necklace set like long necklace. Or you can use this type of clear box you can get from Amazon and now necklace and earrings is done now I'm going to share with you another jewelry how you can organize that next I'm going to make a DIY stud holder organizer and this type of organizer you can get from dollar store and it comes in a different sizes I got this rectangle and in this tray, I'm going to use this type of foam you can find out around your house. Thick or thin, this is depend on your stud you are going to use in. You can cut the size according to your tray, then you can place in. This stud holder is really affordable, easy to make and you don't have to make any holes. You can put it your stud anywhere and keep the lock separate and look at this. This is really easy, hope you like it. Next, I have this type of organizer I got from Amazon around $20. In this type of organizer, you can keep a necklace, bracelets, rings. First, I'm going to organize rings, then bracelet. And in this organizer, you can keep your watches or you can display bracelets. Next, I'm going to show you how to organize your necklace and for that, I'm going to make a DIY organizer. You can get this type of tray or this type of drawer and I got this from Amazon and in this, I'm going to use this type of foam once again and going to cut it in a half like this size. Then you can mark according to you. 
and I mark between half inches and I make a half cut in a foam first I made a mark on a foam like half inches then you can cut it in a half then you can put straight necklace in so this is really easy to organize your necklace so if your necklace tangle all the time then you can use this method another diy option for your necklace you can use a straw paper straw or plastic straw you can cut it in a one inches or two inches then you can keep your necklace in like this so this way you can keep your all necklace straight and you can use a organizer like a tray i have this type of drawer i'm going to use so you can use a straw for individual necklaces next for small jewelry you can get this type of uh, pouches and this is a hanger pouch you can get from winners home sense or uh, amazon and in this i like to keep a small earrings or you can keep other small jewelries chain necklace whatever you have and this is a clear pouch you can see each and everything nicely next how to organize bracelet and bangles for this i like to use this type of t-bar you can get from michael's or from amazon and this is really useful so in this first i'm going to show you how i like to keep my bracelet then bangles T bars is a great option to organize your bangles or bracelets. I love to use this for bangles. I love to make a bangle set for my parties and this is easy to grab and I love it. Next here is another option to organize your stud. If you have a vanity drawer, you can keep a foam in and you can put your stud straight in a foam and keep your lock separate. So you don't have to spend anything on this, just uh, find out a foam around your house and you are done. Now quick view how I organized my jewelry. So this is a DIY organizer for necklaces. So this way your necklace never get tangled and you can keep in a drawers or uh, you can get a baskets or tray from dollar store and this way you can organize your necklaces and for bangles or bracelets you can use a t-bars for small jewelry you can get this type of uh, hanger pouches you can get from winners or amazon and you can put this straight in your closet next you can use this type of organizer in these type of organizer you can organize multiple jewelry and you can use this type of cases these are clear cases these are actually photo cases i got from michael hope you like this idea this is really great idea to organize your jewelry you can display on your shelf so this look really good or you can use a dollar store clear cases or cardboard cases or you can get from amazon so hope you like today's video in this video i shared how you can organize your jewelry in a budget and i shared all affordable organizer and i share so many diy organizer how you can organize your jewelry if you like this video like comment and share if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share this video and if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel i love to make all type of videos on my channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you in another coming video until then take care guys love you and bye